Hello. How is my audio volume? Oh, I think it's a little bit quiet. I'm trying to... I think the game's been a bit too quiet, but I also don't want it to be too loud. So I'm not sure how the volume is. I think it might be louder when I'm actually running around doing stuff. Good volume is a constant battle. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe it's a little too loud, but I don't want it to be too quiet. We're also back in English today because I felt like it. Uh, I'm just running around in the mine right now while I wait for someone to arrive. Presumably a Grimthorpe 101. My most dedicated viewer, despite knowing very little about another Eden. I'm also checking out what I need for this mine. Um, I know I need at least one lantern and two medium bombs to finish clearing out the uh, first mine. Probably more, but uh, I've got to explore it to find out. So I guess I can build mine carts, but eh, that seems like a luxury. Although I need to make at least one of each of the parts for um, uh, episode rewards. It is. This episode, you don't get points. You get rewards based on um, building things the first time you build each each object, which does include like all the houses and stuff. Let's see. My lighting is also not as good as it used to be because I used to have a little cart thing that had a, a lamp I would stick on it uh, to make the lighting more even on this side. Uh, that got moved to my art room because I have an art room now. Uh, so I no longer have the cart, and I didn't want to- well, I tried sticking the lamp on my thing, my thing by me, but, uh, it was messing up the wood, and I was like, that's probably not good. So I stopped. What's this? Okay, small explosive. We don't have any. Oops, sorry. Small bomb. Need one of those. So oh, I went over there earlier. That needs a, a medium bomb. Ow. It's getting dry, which makes my lips crack a lot, which is annoying. I should probably just suck it up and learn to use a uh, chapstick. But it bothers me immensely to have stuff touching me. Come on. Up, up we go. Is there anything we need on the trial pit area? Okay, yep, there is something here. What is it we will need for that? It looks like it's probably a bomb. Yep, another small bomb. Okay, two small bombs, two medium bombs, and one lantern. I'm pretty sure we need another lantern somewhere at the bottom. And of course there's probably more stuff hidden behind these things. Uh, there's maps. There's maps. Um, Pikachu Hats told me about them. I think last week. On the, uh, wiki. But you know, I'm just gonna survey this mine myself because I'm, I was gonna say lazy, but this is actually more work. I just kind of feel like it. Actually, it's more that I need to collect, uh, clay. We're not, we're not working on time mine today though. We're actually gonna do persona. The first persona crossover is what we're actually gonna do. I was just running around in the mine for a bit first. And it takes me a little moment to get started. I need, you know, a little simple warm-up activity. Okay, three small bombs. On to my notes. I figured we should uh, collect some of the good uh, free characters that we are missing. Such as the Persona ones. Um, should also probably, okay, start work on the Tales of characters. We will uh, eventually get to them. I think. Hello there, Grimthorpe. Welcome. You have a lot of emojis. Okay, yeah, we need a lantern. And okay, two lanterns, two medium bobs, four bo four small bombs is what I currently need to clear out more of the mine. But uh, we don't really have time for all that right now, so we're going to do Persona instead. Which, I think the first Persona crossover is actually fairly early. Could have even more. <laughs> Could 
have even more emojis. Good to know. Um, I did not collect nearly as much clay as I meant to, so unfortunately we will not be working on time mine today. Because I got sleepy and went to bed. That seems to always be my excuse. I got tired and went to bed instead of farming my resources. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, this is not the team actually I want to use for Persona. A good thing to do? Eh, you know, sleep or farming resources. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta make difficult decisions. Where it's definitely not clear which one is better for you. This is like most story characters. Tiramis is in the back. I don't think we'll need her, actually, for uh, the Persona thing. So we'll probably replace her and Amy with um, per episode characters. And Nagi's here because I want to level her. That's also why we're back in English. I think I like her English voice better than her Japanese one. I'm a heretic. I have I, I like some of the English voices better. We also... We haven't quite finished getting the um, regular Atlantis pearls for um, Ocean Palace, but we've gotten all the black pearls, so we got the trident for Sheila. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. Symphonies. That's what they call the crossovers. The crossovers are called symphonies. And it's kind of... I guess because the oldest ones go over here, but these ones, there's only three. Apparently it's a bit hard to do crossovers because the crossovers are not temporary, so they have to find, you know company that's willing to do a crossover where the crossover stays in the game permanently and doesn't go away. Okay, Bound Wills and the Hollow Puppeteer. It all started from a small wish made on a single flower. The Phantom Thieves decided to follow that wishful voice into a blue light. Together with the time-traveling adventurers, their destinies were brought together. Go beyond time and space to a point where two souls who should not have met come together. The door out to a new world opens. The jeers of the puppeteer resonate through the darkness of the shadow-tainted sphere. Start quest. Yes, we will start the prologue. Ow! I'm putting my foot to sleep somehow. This is most unfair. Dot dot dot. Also, how is the volume? Uh, I've been trying to make- I, I feel like the game was being too quiet, but I don't want it to be too loud either. Please help. Although there's no audio in this part, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> Okay, here's some audio. It's like at half the volume of my talking, I think. Sometimes not quite that, so I don't know if it's uh, good. It might be too loud. Because I don't know how it sounds to you versus me. You have to turn me way up to hear me to begin with. Okay. Um... I don't like turning the gain up too much because I worry that it's uh, too loud. Um. Oh, now that just mutes me. I guess the gain just. I guess if I put the gain too low, then it um. Oh, that's the direction of the microphone. If I put the gain too low, it doesn't. It doesn't pick up my voice. Volume. That's just the game volume that I hear. I think. I don't think this affects. No, this doesn't affect you, actually. This just affects me. Um... Because when it, I've had the game kind of low, and then you couldn't hear me. Uh, I think that's because I was talking kind of quite... Game controls what range it picks up, not the volume. Yeah, I guess that's why it didn't... It wouldn't pick me up sometimes when I had it really low. I don't know if that's the correct term for it. Um, no, oh, that's... I don't really know what else to do, because the volume's at, like, normal now. Um... Am I at least louder than the game volume? Because I... I... Don't know if there's anything else I can really do about it. Yes? Okay. We'll go with this for now. Uh, mm. Why is my phone- No, I cannot answer you, phone. Go over there. What was that voice? Game volume seems fine? Okay, good. Voice? I didn't hear any voice. 
could have sworn I heard something. Something on your nerves, right? Because it's already November. By the way, Crow's got something today, so we can talk about the schedule later. Thanks, Mona. Right now, we've got shadows up ahead. According to my readings, they're pretty weak. What's the plan, Joker? This is probably way more exciting if you've played Persona 5. I have not. I have not played any Persona game. I say we go in and show them what the Phantom Thieves are made of. Is my phone done ringing? Yeah. We haven't been spotted yet, so we can take them down before they even see us. Crimson Willow also tends to be a lot quieter than other things as well. Uh, yeah, Crimson Willow does actually have... Tends to be... I was gonna say tends to be the same volume as the game, but actually his volume tends to be fine for me. It's just that sometimes the game is too loud with him. But then sometimes it's too quiet. Like, Alan Wake tends to be kind of quiet. Let's go, guys. This is gonna be easy. It's uh, Sunday morning. Just gotta murder these little, uh, things. That's all she wrote. They were not prepared for my fists of justice. Good job, guys. But don't let your guard down. There are still some shadows left. Enter stage right. Hit him fast and hard. Oh yeah, this rose has thorns. And scene. Doing great, everyone. Alright, our time has come. Let's do this, Noir. We got this, Mona. She's got fluffy hair. Easy peasy. Almost too easy, I'd say. Shadows detected right ahead. It'd be better to take them all down at once. Allow me to do the honors. <laughs> it's, it's really funny when they try to do like an epic action thing with the, the way their engine and graphics work. Uh-oh, we've got ads. Joker. I hope everyone's got their tickets, because it's showtime. Pew. Goodbye. Looks like that was the last of them. One more win for the Phantom Thieves. I know they've had two Persona crossovers already of their three crossovers, but I could really use a third where we get her. She looks really cool. And I would like I would like to use her, but unfortunately, she's not a playable character. Good work, everyone. What was the other crossover? Tales of I think they just call it Tales of, because I think it was technically a crossover with like four different games in the Tales of series. Which I've also never played, so <laughs> I don't know much more than that. You know, I'm still thinking about that voice. The child stop there it is again it's getting louder hmm? did someone say something just now you hear it too it sounds like a woman's voice could we have accidentally dragged someone in when we entered mementos mm, mentos it's coming from further inside joker what should we do i say mentos but i'm pretty sure they're mint flavored and i don't like mint let's investigate everyone be on your guard who knows what we're heading into We're in control now. I don't think this is the way we're supposed to go. Pretty sure the voice came from the opposite direction. <laughs> it's not gonna let me go the wrong way. Well, it'll let me go the wrong way a little bit, but not, not too far. Then it's like, nope, go the right way. In this sinister memento subway station thing. I think it's a subway. This would probably all make a lot more sense to me if I played Persona 5. This is Persona 5, right? What is this place? This is definitely Mementos, make no mistake. Seems like we need to go further in. I don't see any enemies around here, but keep your guard up just in case. Ooh, shiny. I like the uh, stained glassiness of the floor. 
I don't I don't think that's the correct word, but it looks very cool and I like it. Nia. Where the heck is that coming from? I don't see anyone though. Wait, I'm detecting a high energy signal. It's heading this way. What the Solania? Please save the child, the village. Solania? The voice has to be coming from the other side of that big rift looking thing. The energy readings I'm getting from that thing are falling fast. In other words, it's closing. Joker, what should we do? Dot dot dot. Please help. We can't just turn our backs now. Let's go, guys. We People are awful willing to just jump into space-time rifts. I commend their bravery. I would not do it. There we go. Yeah, you think you'd be a little more hesitant. I guess this is why we're not um, RPG heroes. Bound Wills and the Hollow Puppeteer. Look at this lovely little title screen. It's like its own little mini game within the game. I, I don't think clicking on it is gonna. Do oh, we have like the gun and then like that uh, Joker has and like the sword that uh, Aldo has. Uh, Ogre Rancorum. Which I often forget used to look like a regular sword. Her. Dot dot dot. Joker. Huh? Ooh, from the Moonlight Forest. Very lovely place. Looks like he's alright. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. Is everyone else okay? We're all okay. Where are we? On the other side of that big blue hole thing. Other than that, no clue. Wherever we are, it's definitely different than anything we're used to. For sure. There's That's nothing new for the Phantom Thieves, though. So, we're still in Mementos. I don't think so. I've never seen signals like this before. It's no palace, either. Even if it isn't Mementos or Palos, pa Palace, we must still be in the Metaverse, right? Is there even a way out of here? Maybe you should have thought about that before you jumped in the rift. Speaking of which, I don't see that big blue hole anywhere. You're right. We hardly have any time left as it is. What should we do, Joker? It looks like we're stuck here. Dot dot dot. That voice. Voice? Oh, that voice. The one that was talking about Solania or whatever. That's the one, and if the voice came from inside the rift, then that then the person it belongs to should be or here somewhere. Let's take a look around, then. We need to find out how to get out of here. We don't have a lot of time, so let's split up into pairs. Who is going with who? How about we leave that call to our fearless leader? Alright, how about? We don't have a lot of time, man. There's no time to waste, Joker. Wasting time by talking. You're right. Skull and Panther, Oracle and Queen, Fox and Noir. Mona, you're with me. Fine with me. No objections here. I'll contact you using my persona if we find something. We gotta find some clues fast. There's no telling what we're in for. So be careful out there. This is such a creepy forest. Let's be careful. Uh, that is not at all the correct direction. Are we allowed to go that direction? It looks like the path ends here. Let's find another one. We are allowed to go this way. That's where the Goblin King is, but uh, thankfully he's not there right now because considering I think we're level 1? What level are we? Okay, we're level 30, but uh, we still would not be able to... What's this? Okay, now I don't want to take a break from the prologue. Um, I don't think we'd be able to handle the Goblin Goblin King fight. 
Which we should go back and do because uh, TR Mist is level 70, 79, so I think we could actually handle it now. This is a pretty deep forest. I like when he walks without the weird little cartoon thing. The source of that voice should be around here somewhere, right? I mean, this doesn't really look like the kind of place someone would live in, though, does it? Cat! A cat? Are you serious? You of all people, I am not a cat. Behind you, Mona. That is a cat. Yep, that's a cat. Huh, they've got cats here too, then. This is a cute cat. Hmm, you think it's scared of us? No, I don't think so. A shadow? Doesn't look like any kind of shadow I've seen before. Definitely wants to hurt us, though. Yep. Guess there's no choice but to fight it. Come on, Mona. I guess this is like our introductory, indu inter introductory fight to them. Swap you. Do that. Frontline you again. You only have one ability, so uh, you're just gonna keep doing that. Thought we switched back to English. Maybe I forgot to. Gur, how much longer is this gonna take? It's pretty tough. We better finish it off. Joker, let's get ready for you know what. Unless maybe they don't have English voices. Let's end this. Maybe they don't have English voices. That is entirely possible, after all. It is a Japanese game, so it'd probably be easier to just get the Japanese voice actors back to do the character voices. If they even have- if it even got an English dub. This seems like a distinct possibility. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna assume on. Cause I don't- I don't play with the volume on normally on mobile, so uh... I've never heard their voices before. Well, that's that, I guess. Monsters that attack as soon as they spot their prey. Looks like we should still keep our guards up. Thank goodness we can still use our persona. Hey everyone. Oracle, what's up? We're ready to report our findings. Let's meet back up at the place where we met where we were before. What you think about you thinking about tagging along? Huh? Excuse me, I'm having a hiccupy issue. What the Yes, this cat clearly has something it's carrying. <sighs> Joker, Mona, you sure took your time. Probably won't stream so long, because I am very tired today for some reason. More than that, where did the cat come from? The cat is collared. What? But that means this cat must have an owner. Yeah, which means there's got to be a humans close by. Leave it to our leader to be the only one who actually found something. I mean, what to do aside from wander around the forest? He wouldn't be this good if it wasn't for all the training I have him do. I wonder if it got separated from its owner then followed you two because it's lonely. Maybe this cat and that voice are somehow connected. There's no way to know, but at least we've got a lead. True, we also have no idea how advanced civilization is here or if they'll just attack us on sight. At any rate, we should find the cat's owner. Indeed, it's not like we have any other leads to chase down. Our persona still works, so fighting shouldn't be an issue. Whatever happens, it's going to be better than camping out in this forest for sure. Okay, just wait a sec. Hmm, no human energy signatures. But there is a point where there's a gap in the trees. That has to be an exit. Then let's move. The owner must live further up ahead. Okay, let's take the kitty home. I thought the kitty had like a thing it was carrying around its neck, but I guess it's just its collar. It just looks funny because they needed to make it visible. This time we actually get to leave the forest. Well, let's take a break. Okay, fine. We'll take a break, Panther. HP and MP completely restored. Moonlight Forest entrance. This version of the Moonlight Forest has pretty much nothing in it. There's no uh, horrors. I guess, you know, to prevent you from trying to fight them. Pointlessly. 
How beautiful. It's mesmerizing. Is that a castle over there? I've never seen such buildings before. Hmm, where are you going, kitty? Oh, the kitty is galloping. Kitty! Hey, look. Where have you been? Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Well, that's a relief. The cat found its owner. Yeah, but she sure doesn't sound like the voice we heard before. True, but hey, at least we found someone. Um, did you all bring my kitty back to me? Yeah, but it was more like the cat brought us to you. Thank you so much. You don't look like you're from around here. You could say that. Oh, I want to thank you for helping me. Can you come with me back to my village? Did you say village? That's the first time I've heard that word in conversation. What do you think? Well, she can understand us and she seems nice. Come on, let's go. Where there's a village, there's people. I agree with Skull. Put aside the whole falling through a spooky blue light and landing in a foreign land. If we separate from this person, we're back to square one. Agreed. Let's follow her and see if that leads to any more clues. That's great. Just follow me, then. It won't take us long. My village, Baruoki, isn't far at all. Ooh, excitement. Is that the end of the prologue? Sealed away in a distant place, two times and spaces intersect, beckoning eight souls from the metaverse. Their encounter with our adventurers beyond time and space is a story from not such a distant future. To be continued. Excuse me. Complete. Yes, we completed the prologue. Very talented. go. I think the times I stream, the uh, cats are- there's two cats in Baruoki and they're never here when I stream. <laughs> okay, this should be the symphony, I think, so we can continue it. Also, I can click on that. Fire. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Very lovely. Chapter 1, Two Overlapping Souls. Once back in Baruoki, Aldo finds out that the mayor wants to see him for some reason. Meanwhile, he hears a little news. And he's actually in the party for once. Such a nice cozy tavern is the perfect place to rest one's feet. Don't get too comfortable, Cyrus. You're acting like you own the place. So basically business as usual, right? Haha. <laughs> Aldo, reminder, the mayor wishes to see you. He is concerned about an unidentified issue. Oh yeah, that's right. Thanks, Rika. I'd better head over head on over and see him then. No, no, this is terrible. What's wrong? There are bandits in the village. Aldo, please can't you do something? Bandits, don't worry. I'll deal with them. But what happened to the village guard? Well, unfortunately, they're off fighting monsters in the Noaro uplands. Is that so? Fear not then, for we shall aid you. Leave it to us. A civil service android is duty bound to help those in need. Thank you so much. The bandits were heading south of the village. South it is then. Let's go. Time to go meet up with the persona people, probably. I, I don't. I honestly don't remember. The uh, s the crossovers always come to global early. Uh, so it's been a long while since I played this. I do not remember it. Ooh, shiny. Uh, let us find out what is going on. Run fast. The bandits are over that way. 
Let us hurry then. Arg. You all right, Joker? Oh, maybe they're coming to fight the bandits too? Ow, hold on a second. I don't think I've seen these guys around here before. I'm not sure if they're the bandits or if they're, uh... They certainly look suspicious. And what manner of cat is that? Walking upright like a human. Who do you think you're calling cat, frogman? Just who the heck are you guys anyway? You're not those bandits, are you? Wait, so about the whole bandit thing. Joker has quite the harem, eh? <laughs> We're not bandits. We're phantom thieves. Seriously, Skull. F phantom what? Thieves, you said? Phantom thieves. A class of thief that is particularly elusive. No, no, I mean, yeah, we're called phant phantom thieves, but we're good guys. You're making us look even more suspicious there, Noir. If you've come to start anything in my town, I'll show you no mercy. Well, I won't go down without a fight. I'm sorry, Joker. Aldo's level 60. He's got 30 levels on you. Arg. Huh? I think the scream came from over there. That must be the bandits. So there's some real bandits as well. What do you mean? We're after the bandits too. Someone who took care of us was in trouble. Aldo, we better go see what that scream was about. Yeah, let's go. We're going with you. Bro, this village is sto so stocked. Like, super stocked. Mega stocked, bro. To the brim, bro. Yeah, bro, we're gonna be living like king bros, my dude. D goodness, their dialogue is almost as difficult as the uh, bard in... Uh... I forgot the name of the time mine place. Stop right there. Criminal scum. Whoa, look at these dudes. There's so many of them, bro. Bro, remember, we got all these monster dudes to fight for us, bro. What the heck is the dialogue? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, monsterinos, do your monster thing all over these dudes. Because we don't get to fight humans very often. Aldo, show them the power of your AoE attack. If that's going to be the level of the enemies, I don't think we're going to need Tiramis. It's been a while. We do need another AoE attack, though. Want some more, do you? This may be the first time we've fought together, but man, it just feels right, you know? Bro, too strong, dude. Now, come quietly. It's pointless to carry on fighting. Aldo, sorry I'm late. It's Darunus! Darunus, how'd it go in the Nuara Uplands? Did you defeat the monsters? Yeah, we certainly taught them a lesson. They won't soon forget. We too, we're just about to deliver the, the coup de grace on our brofos here. Thank you for your help. Please leave the rest to us. He says us, but there's just him. Get in here. Get in here. Get over here, scum. I'm turning you into the Unigan Knights. And then he just, he just drags them off all on his own. Don't underestimate Darunus, even if he is stuck as a four-star. So, uh, you guys were trying to catch the bandits too, huh? Sorry, man. We totally thought you were the bandits, but you were just trying to help the village. It was an honest mistake. Don't worry about it. My name's Aldo, and I'm from around here, but mostly spend my time traveling. Cyrus at your service. I travel along with Aldo, giving assistance where needed. I'm Amy. I come from Els, uh, a far-off land. I'm a hunter. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am a KMS all-purpose android type 2-03 designation Rika. That's a pretty weird lineup. So, you said you're the, what was it? The Phantom Thieves. Why do you call yourselves that? What do we say, Joker? I think we can tell these people our situation. They don't look like they're bad people after all. I agree, and also we have no other choice. It's kind of a long story, but... We jumped in a wormhole and now we're stuck here. That, that, that's pretty much the gist of it. Also, there was a voice. I see, so you came from another world after hearing a voice from our world. Thieves who steal hearts from bad guys. Appraisal? Cool. You're very trusting, aren't you? Even a little suspicious. We have gotten quite used to such states of affairs by now. 
Why does she kind of look like a frog? So you're looking for a way back to your own world. Yep, we've been looking all over this village for clues, but we're no closer to finding out where that voice came from. The only clue we've got is the word Solania. Solania doesn't ring a bell. Rekka, can you run a search on it? Initializing database. Please stand by. Well, what's she doing? It's legit. Search complete. Zero hits. There are no mentions of the word within the next 800 years. As far as I can recall, there was no such word 20,000 20, years ago either. 20,000 and 800 years is a pretty wide time frame. So what you're saying is that we've got nothing to go on. Hold up, my grandpa might know something about it. He's the village mayor and knows stories from all around the world. Speaking of the mayor, didn't he wish to speak with you about something, Aldo? Oh man, I completely forgot about that. What do you think? I'll introduce you all to him. We'd be grateful if you could. Right, everyone? Okay, that settles it. Come with me. I'll take you to meet Grandpa. The Phantom Thieves of Hearts have decided to accompany you. Joker and Morgana have... Morgana? 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 Have joined your party as guests. Woo, time to fit them into the party. So that they can get some experience. Sorry, Tiramis. But you are not needed. Uh, they're both sword users, I believe. Because unfortunately, almost all of the crossover characters are sword users, which is kind of boring, actually. But I guess the problem is that sword people are just really common. Morgana uses a sword. I mean, I guess Joker uses a gun, but he also uses a dagger, so... He gets to be a sword character instead of a bow character. Um, yeah, we'll leave you guys in the back line for now. There's a place in antiquity where if we go talk to this sculptor, this statue will become a statue of Aldo. Uh, I want to never do it, so it will always stay a statue of, uh, I think that's King Palsiful. It's also broken. I think he's supposed to be holding a sword. Anyway, I just never want to do that. I want to leave it like that forever. So, that's why it's still like that. LOL. Man, they crammed all these people in his house. <clears throat> oh, Aldo, I heard there were some bandits making trouble. Did you deal with them already? This is what water is for. Yeah, they were no trouble. I let Darunus mop them up. That's not quite what he said, but it's close enough. Good, good. How nice that the village youth these days are so brave and heroic. And how tragic that we only have Aldo and Nomar. We don't have May or, um... Darunus, as far as I can remember. And it also always confuses me that May and Amy are so similar in name and appearance. It would appear you've got new some new friends. I can only assume that Amy is in fact descended from May. The old man doesn't look concerned at all about us. Compared to a walking talking frog and a robot girl, we're normal. These are the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. They assisted us with the bandit issue. They have some questions that you might know the answers to. Oh ho, well I'm not sure how much I can help, but help I can be, but fire away. Have you heard the word Solania before? Hmm, Solania, you say? I've not heard that word in many, many years. You mean you've heard of it? Solania is a legendary flower from the village of Lukniva. In my adventuring days, it proved quite the motivation for me and my comrades. So, Solania was the name of a flower. Maybe we can get some info if we go to this Lukniva. Most certainly. However, I fear the village has suffered some mis su much misfortune. What misfortune do you speak of? Well, it just so happens that the reason I called Aldo here today was to request that he check on Lukniva. I've heard various unpleasant rumors about the place lately. Unpleasant rumors, eh? That sounds a bit concerning. Okay, Grandpa, I'll head to Lukniva and check what's going on. Well, if Lukniva is the clue that leads us to the Solania flowers, I guess we're all heading the same way. I thought you might say that. Here, take this. What is it? A 
It's a map to look Neva Village. It's pretty far from here, but follow it carefully and you'll get there safely. Thanks, Grandpa. Phantom Thieves, you're tagging along, right? Absolutely. It's a bit far, right? How should we get there? Heh heh heh, that's where I come in. What do you have in mind? That's right, Mona can? Yes, but not here. Let's head outside. Thanks for the information. I just hope it proves useful to you all. So please take care of my boy, won't you? Okay, let's head outside and see what Mona has in store for us. I was gonna say, why isn't uh, Fina involved? But then I was like, oh wait, I think you can do this before you rescue her so she can't be involved. Because uh, she might not, not be uh, there. I get confused at what point kind of in the timeline stuff that you can do earlier takes place. All right, what did you have in mind, Mona? Hey, hey, just watch this. We're gonna transform. Mona, you can transform. What miraculous power is this? What, what in the world is this? It's like a horse cart, but completely different. It's called a car. Why not hop in and see for yourself? Don't worry, it's perfectly safe once Mona's transformed. For a while, at least. I'm always safe. So it's some sort of vehicle. I've never seen anything like this, not even in the future. <laughs> Lol, what? Yeah, I don't know. I assume it's a thing in pers Persona 5. Uh, I, I feel like I really should play that game for context. Y you know, sometimes you just gotta play a whole other RPG for context on your crossover, crossover storyline. That is because the rise of anti-gravity technology in Elysian led to a decline in the production of wheeled vehicles. It's amazing, but will we all fit? Oh, hello, Leo. What are you doing, kitty? Erk, I didn't think about that. Do your best, Mona. He needs to turn into a... A cat bus. Leo, what are you doing, my big kitty? Can't eat the trash. The trash is not food. <gasps> they have massive pumpkins with patterns on them. I love it. I'm, I'm just really attached to large quantities of vegetables and flowers. Show the big cat, boy cat. Leo! Leo boy, come here! Come here! Grimthrop 101 wants to see you! Come here, boy! Come here! Come here! Come here, kitty! Come here! He doesn't want to show himself. He's, uh, wandering off. I'm sorry. No Leo kins for you today. Huff, huff. We made it. Huff. I'm really something, ain't I? <laughs> They're just like passed out. Understandable. Yes. He's a he's a kitty. He does what he wishes. He's also even for a cat, he's very he just does his own thing. Traveling this distance on foot would have taken several days, but in the blink of an eye we've arrived. I was gonna say we could take the uh the uh the uh the rift breaker, but it occurs to me we can probably play this quest lane before we even have the rift breaker, so so this is Lakniva. Notable because Helena is not here. How can you be so chill after a ride like that? Talk about being packed in like sardines. Ugh, my neck, my back. Yeah, we clearly overloaded the car. Inari, I don't think I can go on. Oh no. The Oracle Frog Girl has died. That was your first time in a car, right? How did you find it? Oof, not good. Motion sickness detected. Engaging restoration procedure. Well, that was one heck of a ride. That was worse than my school days when I had to ride in on a packed cargo vessel. I feel like I'm about to croak. <laughs> Poor Cyrus. <laughs> he looks so sad. Not the frog people are right next to each other. I mean, I guess she's not a frog person, but for some reason she makes me think of a frog. Ugh, I still feel dizzy. I think it's the goggles. I think that's what makes me think of a frog. But at least we made it to Lakniva. Thank you, Mona. It confuses me that they call him Mona, but then sometimes they call him Morgana. I, uh, that's another thing I don't understand. Heh, it was nothing. Don't mention it. Grandpa said he'd heard some bad rumors about this place, but... It looks perfectly normal. How strange. Look at these lovely t uh, tomatoes or whatever. Yeah. Joker, you guys are gonna search for the Solania flower, right? I'm wondering if we could meet with the mayor first. 
Good idea. We certainly learned a lot from the mayor of Baruoki, so that's not a bad start. You're right. We should find the mayor before anything else. I'll come with you. Okay then, let's start looking. I knew they would come. So they've passed the first phase. Heh <laughs> heh. Everything's going according to plan. Oh, the big boy cat is bathing himself now. He's kind of behind a sweater, so I couldn't see him. It's the way out of town. Hello there. Ah, you guys are travelers, aren't you? Welcome to Lakneva, the village of abundant harvests. This place is well known for agricultural products. Don't leave with an empty tummy. Plus, there are lots of great things about this place. Basically, this village is amazing. You trust me, right? Sigh. Business isn't good. I'm selling quality things, though. Ah, welcome. Would you like to try Lakneva's authentic, freshly picked vegetables? Did you get a chance to see the fields around the village? The crops are coming in mighty fine. It's all thanks to the special fertilizer that I came up with. The fact that I could help the mayor of our village is the only reward I need. I give up. I can't even lift my arms. Come on, pull yourself together. These tasks need to be done today. We've got to keep going. But look how exhausting this is. No one can tell me to stop complaining. Just shut up and get back to work. We've got to keep working for the mayor. learn about the town by chatting with the town folks. There's no one in here. This is a really nice little house thing, though. Ah, no! No, I wanted to steal their stuff! Let me back in! Obtained low-class scroll times five. So pretty. This is a very beautiful little town. Or village. Oh, hello there, weapons, weapons man. Oh, you have nothing to say because you sell stuff. Never mind, I do not care about you. Goodbye. I recently moved here hearing that this is a lively village and I'm about to build a house here. But the villagers don't seem happy at all. I'd be devastated if I'm left with nothing but housing loans. Ooh, we can look for information in the tavern. Just because there's not many customers, it doesn't mean I serve bad drinks. The villagers are too committed to work, and they don't have time to chill at a tavern. The only ones that come here are travelers like yourselves. <laughs> Housing market IRL. As the rumors say, this is such a lively village, I like how people are so committed to work. Although, I could look at the villagers and tell that something is a bit odd. Maybe I'm thinking too much. You know, I tend to say that this is all the bard, but, like, the different, the same bard model, but maybe it's just all Henry. It's always Henry. He's everywhere. As the rumors say, this is such a lively village. Oh wait, no, I already talked to you, Bard. I want to talk to the old man. Of course I work. What did you think? We say since the ancient times that one has to work to eat. But as an old man, it's a bit exhausting. Well, guess I should drink, drink, and drink to prepare for another tough day. But don't worry, he won't drink any alcoholic beverages because for some reason they don't exist in another Eden. Localization to English. I, I... I don't know if they exist in Japanese or not, because I cannot read Japanese. The workers are too committed to drink. Workers well known for being teetotalers. <laughs> See, there's clearly something wrong with this town. No wonder the mayor sent us here. We must solve the mystery of the... Hello, child. I saw it. You were on a vehicle that moves without a horse. I've never seen anything like that. There must be tons of fascinating stuff outside this village, I suppose. No? Well, what can you expect? I don't know much about what's going on outside the village. This house is just full of vegetables sitting in the ground. It looks lovely, but I can't imagine it's all that sanitary. Why is there a quest right there? Okay, we'll help with that guy later. Right now, we're investigating the village. No one is supposed to approach the statue of this the statue of this village? Why, you ask? It's pointless to ask that question. It's the way it is in this village. I guess this is where they do their laundry. Another child. Hey, have you ever been to Unigan? I'd like to go there one day at least once in my lifetime. But I don't think that's going to happen. As long as we're here, Mom and Dad must work without taking a break. And I will steal your starlight fragments. Whatever the heck those are. 
I was planning on leaving the village, but I decided to postpone it. The food here is amazing. But Neva, the village of abundant harvests, did not disgrace its name for sure. You should enjoy your time here, too. No! I, I use, I use, uh, because F is, like, the activate key, but, uh, sometimes it doesn't know what I want to activate if it's close together. It's true that the growth of this village was possible because of the mayor. I've been ordered to keep working day and night, but I just can't disobey the mayor. This man has nothing to steal. Goodbye. Okay, that must be where the mayor lives. This village is famous for a wide variety of delicious vegetables. They are the pride of this village. You should really try some if you have a chance. I'm sure you'll like it. I do want to know if the pumpkins come with these purple patterns. Uh, I guess they must come that way. It's very fancy. Daddy is working really hard every day. He leaves early and comes back home late. He twisted his ankle the other day, but still tried to go to work. Apparently he can't say no to the mayor. Shush, stop saying silly things. Please ignore what he just said. My husband is fine and he's working right now. There's nothing to worry about. No, nope, nothing at all. Certainly no need to worry about that high-class scroll you used to own. house. It is an abandoned house. This is a locked box. Okay. I have to do something to unlock that then. And I assume this is the statue we're not supposed to approach. I cannot approach it any further. It's another Henry! You know, you'll always come up with things you wish you had when you're traveling. What I most want right now would be a jacket. If you think that you can help me, please let me know. But you've got, like, a little jacket. I'm very confused. Medium class scrolls? Sigh, for some reason I feel the pressure even when I'm taking a break. Everyone is working so hard and so should I. Mm, it's been a while since we ran around and talked to everyone in the town. Kind of neglected them. I'm sorry, little people. Here we are at the mayor's tent house. Is this the mayor's place? It would appear he already has guests. It's young man and mustache man. M mayor Sethka, I fear we may not be able to bring you our wares on time. We were set upon by monsters from the mountains and many were injured, you see. I see, that must have been terrible. I trust their injuries were not too severe. Well, some of them can barely walk, but they're alive at least. Good, I'm glad to hear that. So have them get straight back to work. No way. I have noble clients in this city counting on me. Be sure to inform me of those who can no longer work. Remember, no breaks until the job's done. Be off with you now, I'm busy. But... Did I not make myself clear? Come on, get to it. Erg. We've got no choice. Let's do as he says and get back to work. We deserve this punishment. Humph, I'll work these puppets until their strings break from the strain. Ooh, fruits. So, you're the mayor. Hmm, yes, yes, I'm Sethka the mayor. I'm guessing you're with some sort of wandering circus. Well, these villagers are too focused on their work to care for pointless distractions. But perhaps I could be persuaded, for the right price, that is. Wow, someone's stuck up. I don't like this one bit. If you've come looking for work, then I've got enough to grind you into the floor, that is, if you'll agree to become my puppets. Hey, yeah. Hello, Crimson Willow. Welcome. Well, what do you say? No way. Can you believe this guy, Joker? What do you know about Solania? Yes, we are playing the Persona crossover. Persona 5. Maybe you know a bit more about Persona 5 than I do, I'm not sure. What? Where did you hear that name? Oh, you know, through the grapevine. Mother? It was Mother who told you, wasn't it? That foolish woman. How many times did I do I have to warn her? I've been soft on her since she's my mother, but it's high time I dealt with this once and for all. 
Hey, what's with that all of a sudden? Look, we only wanted to know more about Solania. There's no Solania flower in this village. It's forbidden to even mention that cursed flower here. I'll let it go this time since I'm generous, but there won't be a second time. If you wish to become my puppets, you'd better keep your mouths shut. Now, who's next? Very friendly mayor they got here. Jeez, what's going on here? How can they just carry on obediently doing whatever that guy commands? If he tried acting like that in our world, he'd have a riot on his hands. He wouldn't last five minutes. Hmm. <gasps> kitty! Is something wrong, Aldo? Oh, kitty! Come here, kitty! No, come here! Oh, he ran away. Kitty is very uncooperative. Well, we're here because of Grandpa. He wanted us to check up on this place, right? And now I know why. But I doubt that he'd make us come here just because the mayor is evil. Right, we'd better look into this. Unfortunately, though, we were not able to secure any information about the Solania flower. Because there is no Solania flower in, uh, Lokniva. I nearly said bossing say. Not necessarily. When Joker asked the mayor about the Solania, he never said it was a flower. That is also true. Hey, what's with all what's with that all of a sudden? Look, we only wanted to know more about Solania. There's no Solania flower in this village. Would you like to sit with me, big kitty? Meow. Meow. I shouldn't encourage him by mowing at him. Aha, now you mention it, he knew enough to know it's a type of flower. Do you think he's got one hidden somewhere? I don't know, but Sefko seemed adamant that there's no Solania flowers in this village. Kitty! Kitty? Kitty! Come here, kitty! Oh, yes! Yes, show your beautiful, beautiful kitty! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh, did you want to speak to... People, you want to speak to Grimthorpe? Can you hear me scratching his little face? I think you can. Be a big boy. Oh, 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 the big boy wants to go. Okay. Oh, the big boy wants out. I need to open the door for him. I will be right back. Okay, the big boy has been freed. Ow. 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 Maybe I shouldn't sit on my feet like this, that might help. Okay. Oh, crap. No, come back. Which explains why none appear in my database. Doesn't look like we're going to get any info out, more info out of him. Well, we, should we ask his mother? It was a good idea. No, wait, it is a good idea. If the mayor is not willing to talk, we must find others who might know something. Let's go find Sethka's mother. Yes, yeah, she must be here in the village, somewhere. Well, I've already explored the village a bit, so uh, I guess we just look for the quest marker in the village. Village quest marker. Over to the statue. Did you learn anything over there? Not much. It looks like the like a poor harvest. The villagers look really busy. We'd better not bother them unless we have to. Have you located the target? Sounds like we want to kill her, Rika. Nope, there's no sign of her. I thought this pla I thought the place would be fitting for a mayor's mother. I have never known anyone so preoccupied with their own mother. Well, well, are you the one searching for the mayor's mother? I rushed over once I heard some people were near the statue. You mustn't approach that statue, else he'll be furious with you. He? Hey, doesn't this lady remind you of someone? Yes, every single other old lady in the game. Now that you mention it? Hey lady, do you know anything about Solania flowers? Ah, now there's a word I've not heard in many years. Hello, Bell. <laughs> 
You'd better not let him hear you saying that. You must be Sethka's mother, am I right? How did you? Yes, that's right. Sethka is my son. We heard a voice. It was about Sethka and this village Lugniva. A wish was made on a, on Solania flowers. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not dreaming, am I? You really heard my wish. You said that we shouldn't approach the statue, correct? Ah, yes, I did. There's a small cottage on the edge of the village. We should go there and talk if you don't want to be heard by anyone. Follow me if you don't mind. Of course, please lead the way. You use queen in AFK, AFK arena sometimes. I'm very jealous because we don't get queen in this game and she looks really cool. We only get, we get Morgana and Joker and then in the next one we get Skull and a character who isn't here. Um, I forgot her name. Which is sad because she's the one I use the most. Violet, maybe? So yes, I'm, I'm very jealous that you get to have Queen because she looks cool. Also Frog Girl. Frog Girl is cool. I don't know if you get Frog Girl though. Oracle, sorry, that's her actual name. Excellent, we won't have to fear being overheard by anyone. Exactly, please feel free to use this place as much as you need to. Thank you, ma'am. So just what is a Solania flower? In AFK Arena, there's only one team comp she's any good in as far as you know, so still not much, LOL. But at least she exists. Who do you have in AFK Arena? Like, who did they cross- what ca crossover characters did they get? Was it like Joker and Queen? I mean, I imagine Joker was one of them, because he's like the main character of Persona 5. Those beautiful flowers growing around the statue were Solania flowers. Yes, the very same. They were? Everyone is shocked. They're mysterious flowers only known to a select few. Legend has it they would have the power to grant wishes. The statue used to be very important to the villagers. It was the centerpiece of the whole village. However, since my son became the mayor, no one has been allowed to go near it. Or even mention the flowers surrounding it. Yep. Probably because the roots remain in the ground, the flowers still grow around the statue. And I guess for some reason the mayor doesn't just kill them. Why would he do that? My husband, Sethka's father, was the previous mayor. When he grew ill, Sethka took me to the statue and we prayed to the Solania flowers for his recovery. Sadly though, his father passed away. I'm so sorry. After that, my son, well, he changed. After becoming mayor, he began a reign of tyranny, treating the villagers like puppets he could use and dispose of. He was such a nice boy before all this happened. My boy, he really regrets all those terrible things he does to the villagers. Sometimes when he thinks he's alone, you can see it in his face. The mother can tell. Have you looked in here? I finally found you. Lord Sethka wants to see you. Sethka was talking about how he needed to deal with you earlier. I see, of course. I knew this was coming. For a second, I saw a glimpse of hope when I realized that my wish was heard. Finally, hope had returned. Now you may forget about all the things I said. Wait, I have some questions. Hmm? It's hard to say in front of his mother. Aren't those people under his control suffering? There are plenty of ways to deal with this, like going on strike or running away to another village. Well, you outsiders might think this village is unusual. And we appreciate, appreciate your sympathy, but we must accept this punishment. We must atone for our sins. Sins, you say? Things aren't looking good for our village. Yet, the people know that going through this pain is the only way to make amends. Take my advice and leave this village before it's too late. What was that all about? He really weirded me out. Let's sort this out. We managed to find where the voice came from. The mayor's mother told us to forget about this whole thing. But if her wish is what brought us here, perhaps granting it is the key to getting back to our world. Besides, I don't like anything about this. We can't just forget everything and leave now. We feel the same. Agreed. The old man asked us to check things out. There must be something behind all this. It seems like Grandpa was right to worry. The lady wished for someone to save her son. 
we can reboot Sethka in some way, it is highly likely that the state of this village could be improved. So I guess Sethka is the key to everything. Right, everything will be fine if we can just change him back into a good boy. Perhaps we could delete the corrupted partition of Seth's heart. Hmm, what do you mean by that? It makes sense. If we get Sethka back to the way he was, then we'll have fulfilled his mother's wish. With Sethka as he is now, the villagers will always live in fear. And you heard his mother. Deep down, the real Sethka regrets what he is doing. There's nothing else we can do. We'll have to change his heart. What do you mean by change his heart? I guess our reputation isn't known around here. We are the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. We steal the hearts of the bad guys and literally change them. In order to do that, we enter the target's heart, which we call a palace. So, what you're saying is... You can go inside people's hearts? That can't be real. It's a metaphor, right? Oh, it's real, alright. At least in our world it is. But how in the world do you get inside people's hearts? Doesn't seem like you could just make your own way in, like with our dream worlds. You gotta use the Metav Metaverse Navigator app on your, uh, smartphone. A smart what? Smartphone. Presumed to be a mobile device used in the Metaverse. App, short for application. These are also used by KMS manufactured mobile devices. Yep, the entrance opens by correctly entering the keyword into the Metaverse Navigator. I assume this is gameplay in Persona 5. Hmm, entering a key of words into a metal navy. Uh, yeah, that's how it usually works, but things are different in this time. Yep, the thing is, we're in the Metaverse right now. At least that's what it says on the Navigator's screen, which means we can't use it. If we can't use it, then what can we do? Well, to tell the truth, we're kind of stumped too. Normally, the Metaverse Navigator gets the job done. We don't even know another way. Seems we've hit a wall. I'm sure it'd be easy going if we could only get inside. Out of options. More information required. What shall we do? Mwahaha. What was that? Interesting. A talking sword? I overheard your little chat. Take me to where you believe the palace entrance is. Haha. <laughs> you had best get moving before I change my mind. Ogre Rancorum? What will happen if the sword does change its mind? Your guess is as good as mine. Even I don't know his intentions. But he swore an oath to me. He'll lend me his power when needed. We can trust him that far. So, a place that possibly leads to the entrance of the palace, huh? Sethka's mother was making a wish around the statue where Solania flowers were blooming. I guess that's- I guess the statue is the best option we've got. Let's head over there. Ooh, exciting. Making progress. My cat is running around behind me doing stuff and it's confusing me. It's not really confusing me, it's just it makes noise and then I want to look. I need to stop doing that. Ogre Rancorum, we're here. We believe this is the entrance to the palace. Yes, this is the place. I feel a stream of cursed power pouring from here. How can you tell? Mwahaha. That's a foolish question to ask. As a cursed sword, I can easily detect similar energy sources. I shall lend you my aid, Aldo, but do not get used to it. Erg. Huh? What's that wave? I, I've ne never seen such power. Ooh, it's a purple star thing. Is this it? The entrance to his heart. I, a cursed sword that can cut through space-time itself, has have never encountered such a disturbance. I wonder what awaits you, Aldo. Hehe. <laughs> Go forth and learn what evil has nested itself in his heart. I think Ogre Rancorum is just having fun with us. It's, uh, nested in his heart. What could that mean? It's a very untrustworthy sword. Everyone, it looks like the entrance to this to Sethka's heart has opened. Great work, Aldo. You made our life easier. Well, it was all Ogre Rancorum this time around. We came here to help this village. This is our first time entering a heart, but we won't slow you down. Ha, ah, you're right, but who cares, really? We'll keep moving ahead for the sake of these people. Quest complete. I like that we finally opened this up and it's just like, yes, quest complete. 
it's all done now. Except for, you know, the fact that we're, like, right at the part of the... It vanished. I guess it only exists in that cutscene. Chapter 2, The Puppet Rondo. With Ogre Rancorum's power, the team managed to get inside Suthka's heart. According to the Phantom Thieves, it looks exactly like a palace. And if we complete this, we'll get 30 whole chrono stones. I must continue my quest to have, um, 10,000 chrono stones. I keep getting close, but then we do pulls, so I go back down to 9,000. Come on. Ooh, fancy. You'll never get to have 10k. It's your fault, Grimthorpe 101. You like me gambling too much. Scary statue of Sethka. So, this is inside Sethka's heart. Ah, I know this feeling well. What do you know? It looks exactly like a puppet theater. This must be how Sethka sees the village. I still can't believe we managed to get inside here. What is that sword, really? I sense shadow like energy signatures. We must be cautious, everyone. I do not understand your definition of shadow. Simply put, they're formed from the negative emotions of people. In other words, bad guys. Enemies, ne'er-do-wells. Very well, so we have a fight on our hands. So you guys said you steal hearts to change them. And this whole place is his heart, right? How the heck do you plan to steal something so big? Well, they, we've got that covered. There's no need to steal the whole thing. To change Sethka's heart, all we have to do is steal the core of his desire. His treasure. Probably. Could you be any less clear, Mona? I mean, this place is in our world. Plus, I can already feel we're getting closer to the treasure. Even without sending our calling card. Think of it as an experiment. Only one way to find out, right? Probably should leave the guards be, just like we've always done. So, to summarize, our mission is to steal the treasure. It's so simple. Very fitting for thieves. Alright then, that means it's time to start searching for this treasure thing. That's right, let's start this mission. Quest accepted. Look at that lineup. So many of them. Hey, the scary puppets are still here. Nothing else to click on, though. What is that? Okay, it's just records. Those wandering dolls, are they shadows? Sneak up on one and murder him. Ooh, he lost his face. Scary. And then he turned into cattle workers. If you make contact with the enemy from behind, it'll be stunned for one turn after the battle starts. Very convenient. Uh, um, none of you guys have AoEs. I'll just swap Joker in for a uh, Popro. Obtained one keys. When you need a key, approach the enemy from behind. Okay, so we get keys by killing them from behind. So we'll just have to murder everyone, everyone from behind, as as you do. Haha! -ha. I will murder these puppets. This is um. I guess it's like this in the um. In, uh, I, I assume there must not be random encounters, maybe, in the Persona game, Persona 5, because this is the only part of another Eden, really, that has, um, this kind of setup where you, uh, you don't, you don't have random encounters. These are the enemies on the map. Can I sneak around this one? No, I cannot. Come on, I wish to murder you. Just want my wish to be granted. There we go. Puppets are creepy anyway. Switch. Okay. Defeat.
defeat our first rabbit citizen. Or as I put it, murder. Locked from the inside, it won't open. You can't even find a keyhole. Okay, presumably that's a, a shortcut back out at some point. This, I guess, is what keys are for? Nope, that's apparently not what keys are for. That's what keys are for, I guess. It is nice to not have to worry about random encounters. I don't know why those gates even bother existing, though. Why? Why do you exist? I hate you. Teleports behind them. Oh my, wash and drew. Oh dear. I guess that is sort of what I'm doing to the puppets, though. Eee! This must be locked from the inside as well. Yep. These are, uh, I guess, shortcuts back to this area for uh, when you make it farther in. And this is what the keys are for. Use a key to open the door. Yes, please. Unlock the door. Let me in! I don't know why it lets me run sideways in some of these places, but uh, if it will, I will do it. I will run back and forth. Where's the treasure at? Oh, there's another picture. Picture, Another statue of him? Starlight stones. Scary dolls. It's uh, quite the aesthetic they've got going on here. Nice window, though. I don't understand how light's coming from it, because we are now on the other side of it. Got a fur coat. I don't think there's much to click on here. Oh, I wonder if the uh, fur coat is for the... I remember, I think there's stuff you collect here for the, the people in the village. So maybe the fur coat is for that guy who wanted a jacket? It's quiet. Too quiet. We're gonna get attacked? I thought we were gonna get attacked when we walked through that. That's King Miglance. There's a puppet for some reason. What's happening? Okay, now the now it's doing something. Wait, we just we just left that. Hold up everyone. Something's coming. Synergy signature. What's this? Oh man, he looks like a corpse. To think there would be anyone foolish enough to come here. Sethka. Did he follow us here? No, that's not the Sethka we saw in the village. It's a shadow. A shadow, but it looks just like him. No, no it does not actually. It's paler. Oh, my energy sensors are picking up an ominous presence. And I think its clothes are different. Why don't you just give in and become my puppets? I will personally convert all of you and you can be my happy little playthings. Oh no, it's a horde of rabbits. There are so many of them. I'm sure they will keep you entertained. I shall take my leave for now. I have much to do, you see. Grr, that jerk's getting away. Oh goodness. An extra rabbit spawned in. This is getting serious. What do we do? We'll put him down. Joker, clear a way through. Mona, assist Joker. Got it. We can do it. Right, Joker? Absolutely. Don't forget about us. We'll help you, Joker. My blade is ready. Goodness, there's a horde of them. A whole horde of rabbits. They just keep coming. That's not the last of these guys. Let's go. What the heck? I can't move. No way. A trap? No, guys. Ugh. No matter how much I wish to help, their numbers are insurmountable. Dot, dot, dot. We have to fall back and regroup. Arg, but we have to go, Aldo. I'm sorry, other other Persona 5 characters, you're not playable, so we have to leave you behind. Phew, looks like we lost them somehow. But we lost the others too. 
I do hope they're safe. Don't worry about it. They can handle themselves. They won't go down so easily. <laughs> Life forms detected. I cannot determine the precise number of them, but I managed to find out where they are roughly. Good job, Rika. It seems that the others may all be in the same vicinity. Well then, let's go look for them. Hold on, everyone. We're coming. We ran away, and now we're running back. For some reason. Okay, there's enemies in this area now. There are enemies here. Brace yourselves. Okay, so they're around here. Don't seem to be over here though. No, 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 no. I don't want. I don't want to look at you. I want to attack you from behind. Not quite sure where you turn around, so I gotta zoom. Very scary when they get their faces ripped off, but I guess that's true of most things. Aha! You fools! You cannot stand up to all those um not so great area attack okay we'll need a key for that I don't have a key but I murdered a guy from behind so I'll just have to go after this guy too where does your path take you okay now you turn around do you have a key he's got a top hat and he's not gonna be what we fight which is kind of amusing. Poor Aldo, he doesn't have as much uh, mana as, um, yay, key, as Tiramis, so he cannot, he cannot AoE as long as she can. Death. It's very convenient when they start out stunned, but on the other hand, it's also a bit of a pain to sometimes to always go and attack them from behind. But you do basically get a free attack off the first turn. What are these sinister windows? Okay, that must be what the uh, key is for. Uh, I guess we'll just use it. I see no reason not to. Key to open the door? Yes, please. I don't know why we need two doors here, but we have two doors here. It's extremely unnecessary. Purple! Life forms detected. Precision scanning. Six entities detected. Everyone must be there. Everyone is safe. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Now we're in like a theater. This seems to be some sort of stage. What a large room. Look under the stage. They spawned in. Guys. Mona, Joker, and Aldo, you guys came too. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. We were pretty worried. Ah, it looks like I messed up a little. Can you not get the door open? It won't open from the inside. There must be a lock on the other side. Can you see it? You can probably help get us out of here by unlocking it. A lock. Oh, you mean that thing. Pick it with your tiny hands. I've never seen that type before. My infiltration tools are of no use. Maybe one of the shadows has the key. Oh, right. It's just like that other palace. Shadow would have to be pretty reliable to be entrusted with a key, though. They'd likely be one of the tougher ones. Rika, can you find any? How do you expect her to find them based on that description alone? Leave it to me. Wait, really? I'm dealing with something else right now. I should be done by the time you found the key, though. What do you mean? Search complete. Two particularly strong shadows detected nearby. Two of them. How can we tell which one of them has it? By murdering both of them. Limited information, one option for us would be to trust our intuition. You're right, let's go get them both right away. But we'll be back soon, guys. Goodbye, people I don't know anything about and therefore have no real attachment to. Okay, 
give that away. I don't feel like dealing with you guys. Stuffed animals have moved. We can now get through this door. The theater passage. I should check if there's anything over there, actually. Uh, nope, nothing. I have wasted time. Zoom. Just rips their faces off. Why are their faces not connected to their heads? Like, wouldn't you make it... I guess maybe so you can change out the puppet's face? Okay, we're trying to get over there. Out of my way. Don't have a key. Oh. Ooh, chest. Starlight jewels. Well, as long as I'm here, I may as well kill this guy. He's so fancy, though. I feel a little bad about it. Nuggy, don't eat puppets. They are not food. Open the door? Yes, please. Now we can sneak up behind this guy. He thinks that he is standing guard. I mean, I guess he kind of is, but uh, now he's dead. Oh no, we're out of AoE attacks. Joker, switch in for your Valor Chant attack, which is really bad because I haven't given you a weapon. And also you're level 30. And also it's the first level of it. Uh, well that's, that's sinister. I like it immensely. I actually had to fight him face to face. Do some actual fighting. Attack. Power up. Attack, attack. 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 Well, actually, you go to the back line because you're hurt. I don't think it matters, though, because, uh... No, I didn't want to switch you with Aldo! I wanted Aldo to stay in the back line! Eh, whatever. I need him to regen some mana back there. I mean, we could just grab Tiramis, but... <gasps> I see chests back there. I, I need... I need key. Give me key. So I may loot. Let's see if Aldo has enough for a... Uh... Okay, he can X slash again. Here we go. Fancy. I don't think we got a key. But I want a key. There's another chest. Compass? What's this? It's a rope ladder. Oh, hmm. Salasa? What is this place? Are those stuffed animals? I don't see a path, but we can probably walk over the stuffed animals. They'll be nice and soft to walk on. Let's hop from one spot to another to see if we can proceed. Salasa, let's go. Oh, they actually say the name of whichever cat you have with you. That's adorable. Hello there. 
No one's been here for ages, except teddy bears. By the way, do any of you know the game Simon's Flags? Yep, you'll have two flags of different colors, and you'll raise or lower them as commanded. You'll want to know about the colors of the flags, don't you? Here, let me show you. This is red. If you hear red flag up, you must do, do so and lower it when you hear red flag down. Same goes for this blue flag. Ow, ow, ow. Red flag down. That's it. You're smart. Not really interested in playing the game, eh? Still, you should always do as the bear says. Well, good luck. I forgot about this place. They're just dolls as far as I can tell. Which flag will you raise? Uh, red flag up. Congrats, another bear wants to challenge you. Don't leave this place now, the bear will start resting their arms. Which flag will you raise? Blue flag up. Congrats, you may proceed on the fluffy clouds. Oh, that bat thing is really cute. Wait, is anything the other way? I think there was a chest this way. Yes, it is hiding. That bear will talk to you. Looks like the path ends here. Let's find another one. Now we came this way to get this colored glass. I am aware it is a dead end. Ow, ow, stop poking me. You look like you've just seen a ghost. Is this your first time seeing a bear talk? Gwa. Oh, you have. You could ju have just said so. In fact, those who talk, to who talk used to be humans. They're going through a punishment for not obeying the leader. You guys should watch out too. Although he is adorable. He is still a bear. Bird. So I guess we're trying to murder a teddy bear. We have to get the key fast. Or I could loot all this stuff. Guiding light staff. I don't really care about that. I mostly just want guiding light spear, but... Wait, why do we get guiding light staff here? Oh, dang. Hey there, what I want you to do here is to memorize colors. There are four of them. Good luck. Here we go. Red, 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 blue. Can I make you go faster? Red. 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 And blue. Perfect. Congrats, you may proceed on the fluffy clouds. Yeah, but what if I want to check out if there's something this way? Nope, there's just a drop into stuffed animal death. Goodness, we're flying quite a ways on that cloud. Wait, no, okay. There might be something the other way. I cannot take the risk that I'm missing loot. Yes, I have found it. Magnifying glass. Also, apparently, that's the way to go, so actually, I'll go the other way again. Because that means there might be loot over this way. Just high class scrolls. A droll. Fishy. I do like stuffed animals immensely. They're so floofy. Sheepy. Maybe now we will find this bear and murder him. Puppet theater, bear's house. Yep. Uh, wait, let me eat food. Food time, so Aldo can have MP. Okay. Now we're ready to go. Ow, Nick. That's a lot of bears. He's got the same, um, like, skeleton as the um, Umbobos in, uh, the, uh... 
place that'll become the Rakyana Desert. Sarupa. Sarupa field plains or whatever. You wretches, what business do you have looking so lively? It's very unbecoming of puppets. The ignorant masses should not strive to rise above their station. Oh, I see. This one's really, really is tough. Hey, that's a key, isn't it? Do not speak unless you're spoken to. To go against me is to go against Lord Sethka. Do not look down upon us, wretch. You should shut your mouths and heed the wise commands of Lord Sethka. The heck is that bear? So, you insist on disobeying me. I believe in the necessity of re-educating rebellious fools. Obey my commands without question. Those who disobey deserve to be punished. Blue flag down. Red flag up. I'm going to count to two, so get moving. One. To be honest, I have no idea what you mean. But I assume it'll be bad if I leave them in for too long, so I probably need to backline them. Uh, oh gosh, he is so weak. Two. It's fine, I think- I think we got this. <gasps> I've just noticed more of the sheep! Oh, they're so cute. I want them. I want those in real life. Okay, that bear was really weak. Puppets are not allowed to have an opinion. They should only be happy to be of use. Oh no, he died. After we killed him, he exploded. This is the key. Nope, it's just one piece of the key. We can't do anything with this alone. Talk about being destroyed. <laughs> So he broke it up and gave it to two shadows. He really thought of everything. There's still one more tough shadow. Shall we go find it? Yeah, we won't stop until we save everyone. It works out conveniently. Since uh, there were two, and we kind of figured we'd have to kill both of them anyway. Also, hello, Holy Lucario. Ooh, loot. Music box. Door has been unlocked from the inside. Okay, now we're back in that area with the, the doors. Hey, let me through the door. I want to go kill the other guy. I feel like that would be a, a good uh, stopping point. Be saving our good friends, the uh, Persona 5 characters. Hope you've been exploring and getting all the chests here. I've been trying to. I've been trying to. Uh, I don't- I don't think we've missed any so far, but, um, I'm not positive. I think I did a better job in the stuffed animal area than out here, necessarily. Oh, dang. I didn't mean to fight you face to face. It's easier when you're stunned. Since you need them to get Joker's personal weapon. Mm, yes. Will his, um, and, uh, his Valor chant AoE attack be better with his personal weapon? Oh, hey, this is open. That was closed before. Fancy. Although I guess also it probably just gets better if you uh, complete the uh, the symphony because he's like a, an episode character and their valor chants usually go up levels by completing the episode. Get back your puppet. I must murder you before you have a chance to turn around. switch him in sometimes, but poor guy does not do much damage right now. I need to give him a proper weapon. That's what I really need to do. He's got a sword. I don't think I have many swords. I've been trying to get more weapons, but uh, I've been a little slow because I've been farming those stupid black pearls from the uh, ocean palace. I did finally get all of them, though, so just a little more bl more ocean palace to go before I have all the rewards. Okay, this is the best sword you can use, so uh, it is what you get. There's a response ahead. Thank you, Rika. Time to go murder another shadow. Oh, 
shark is so cute. Well, a lot of these stuffed animals are cute. Not the bears so much. The bears tend to be kind of scary. Maybe that's just me, though. I was really confused at first when they were talking Japanese, and I went, oh, wait, I suspect the Persona characters only have Japanese voice lines, and that's why they're talking in Japanese. Tons of shadows detected in this area, even though I have it set to English right now. Such rude rabbits. Why must you continually try to murder me? Uncalled for. Yes, Aldo, we will keep it up. Oh, let's kill this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Okay, fine. We'll kill it from the front, then. I appreciate how happy the uh, cat looks. Just running around. It. No, I don't want Morgana. One. Joker. I don't know if we even really need Aldo's AoE because these guys are pretty low level. Well, some of them are level 40. Okay, we got a lantern. Is there a way? Okay, yeah, there's a way over there. Because there's probably something over there. Nope, 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 nope. Bears, flowers, not flowers. I just called balloons flowers. Oh, I was hoping there would be a path through there. There's something here, though. Pocket watch. Okay. We have collected quite the uh, assembly of random items so far. Oh, that gate is so we can attack this guy from behind. Sure. I will. I will oblige. Unlock the door. Hello there, yellow puppet. I will rip your face off. Well, Joker will rip your face off, to be more accurate. Everyone else, attack. Come on. Yeah. No, you sound so confused. An abacus. Presumably she was thinking about eating while fighting. Go, 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 go. Attack him before you can turn around. It's like strategy, but not really. Uh, okay, yeah, actually, I wanted- I thought I was switching him with Morgana, but I actually hit the right character. There we go. Things are going pretty well right now. Okay, can't go through there. Presumably this is another area where we will get to go find a, uh, stuffed animal or puppet or something. Puppet theater, rabbit's house. Major trial awaits you beyond this point. Proceed. Uh, no, I want to go look at the other end of the room, actually. What's up here? Okay, I cannot reach this ladder. Okay, we will just go do the major trial, then. Oh! It's adorable! What are you thinking, leaving your post? I never said you could take a break. Hmm, yep, this one's tough, too. It's nothing we can't handle. Still, don't let your guard down. Hmm, look over there. I think I see a key. It's not too late. I'm still willing to show you mercy. Now, back, go back to your post. We don't need your forgiveness, what we're after. That's the key, and now we'll take it. Ah, there's a bunch of them now. Why? Why are there so many rabbits? Well, I guess there's three rabbits there, too. Sure, you guys will just focus on one of these guys at a time. Oh wow, they're a lot weaker because there's more of them. Can't beat me, just face it. I can call back up like this forever. Arg, what can we do? We should probably wipe them all out at once before they can call reinforcements. I see now, let's bring them all down at once. 
Okay, that's a slight nuisance. Um, because we don't have a good AoE. Okay, we got two of them low. Let's just, uh, get them all low. No, don't you- okay, I was afraid they were gonna murder him. Okay. Okay, they're weak to slash, so this should be good. There we go. Perfect. I thought that would be harder than it was. But our massive overleveling has compensated for our lack of planning. Wait, you guys aren't puppets, you're intruders. The other half of the key is ours. Another key fragment. Alright, we got it. The tough shadow's signatures have both disappeared. We have both key fragments. Now the key is whole again. Great, now we can go help everyone. Hold on, we still have to combine the two pieces into a full key. Give me a sec. Can you do that, Mona? Making infiltration tools is my specialty. Then we shall leave it to you. We'll stand guard around the perimeter. Hmm, to shove this here then. I have one inquiry to ask at this moment. A different type of negative power has been detected from Shadow Sethka. At what rate is it possible for a single being to possess more than one shadow? I don't know. That's something I've never seen before. I see. Perhaps my sensors are just malfunctioning. Ow, my face is itchy. Ah. Alright, one key ready to go. Wow, you finished already. I overheard your conversation while I was putting the key together. I'll admit, it's certainly puzzling. It's a little concerning too, but it won't do us any good to think about it now. More loot. Telescope. It, it really bothers me that I can't reach that. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss something. Door has been unlocked from the inside. Let me use the door. That is why I unlocked it. So I can go through it. There we go. Back in the garden. Time to go rescue the other Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Like Queen and uh, the other ones. You can just do regular attacks. I think that's fine. Fortunately, the rabbits are resistant to his uh, Valor Chant attack, which kind of sucks. Ooh, oh, that's open too. Fancy. I guess those uh, stupid gates open as we advance through the uh, story here. Okay, we need to get over there. You move. Hang in there, everyone. I'll help you out. Don't actually need to fight him. We can just scooch our way past. <laughs> no, let me up the stairs. A major trial trial awaits you beyond this point. Proceed? Yeah, sure. I think Aldo's the only one low on mana, so it should be fine. You're back. Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. We'll get you out. Wait, a high energy signature is rapidly approaching. Could it be attached to this uh, shadow on the ground? Look up there, everyone. Nope, it's not attached to this shadow. So you came. If you defeated my guards, then you are no ordinary puppets. This one looks dangerous. Why does... Okay, that one has a shadow too. It's just way over there. But your efforts are for naught. A trapped puppet cannot escape its strings. If you wish to join us, then I can grant you that. I see no value in such mercy, but Lord Sethka will likely permit it. Permit us? We don't need no permission. Get in our way and you'll regret it. 
Such fools. Fine, then I shall dismantle you and scatter your pieces in front of your puppet friends. Now we must kill this giant elephant. Huge body doll decided on its target. I have no idea what that means. We're just gonna do that. Mm. I'm not sure what you'd bother even swapping in. With your snuggly, snuggly mood. It's very rude. Mm, where did all that power come from? Guys, watch out for that attack. Huge body doll decided on a target. Oh, you have an AoE. That's nice. Oh, they died. Rest in peace. Wow, he combusted as well. We did it. Now we can let them out. Enjoy your freedom. I'm glad you're all safe. Thank you everyone, sorry for causing so much trouble. It was tough, wasn't it? If the path ahead is equally as confusing, exhaustion may be an issue. Huh? I wouldn't worry about that. I've got this puppet theater mapped out right down to the floorboards. Dang, you work fast. Oh, so that's what you meant when you said you were busy. Yeah, that's right. Now we just gotta steamroll into that treasure room. While we were locked up, we all worked it out based on Oracle's data. Finding the light when hope is lost. I could learn a thing, or t learn a thing or two from you. The shadow was able to con continue up ahead. Maybe it's got a key. My idea is right. Now that the shadow is gone, we can hopefully find. Why are there noises outside? Is this what you're looking for? Nice one, Inari. With this, we should be able to get further ahead. All right, let's make a beeline to the treasure to this treasure room then. Ow! I put my foot to sleep by sitting on it. This was a huge mistake. Now that we're all here, let's go and steal that treasure. Nothing through there, unfortunately. You unlocked the door with a large lock. I keep getting confused because you unlock the door, but then you don't go through the door. So then I start thinking I've gone through the door. Okay, there's still a while to go, so uh, we'll pick up here next time because i actually stream a lot longer than i meant to because i was getting invested but uh i'm also extremely tired so i must go now goodbye thank you for coming uh grimthorpe 101 crimson willow and uh holy lucario nice to uh chat with you all i will hopefully see you all again soon goodbye